Has your camera gone off? No, you're still flashing. I'm still flashing, yeah. Right, okay, so uh, I've done the first cleanse, yeah. I can get Sean to edit it anyway. Um, so now we're going to do the eyebrow, the eyelash tint first. So you need to have some damp pads. Just dip them back in hot water. You're going to half your pad. You do have the liners in your kits, but I personally don't use them. I use pads. All right. Then I just trim this up. Jackie's two color makeup off me, off for me. Sorry, so I don't have to do it for quickness. Then get two halves, and the other it's going to sit under the eyes. All right. You then get your Vaseline. Could you grab me some spatulas, please, Nicola? Okay. So I'll get Nicola to get them. Just yeah. I thought that had done hygienic vaccine. I suppose if you're not putting hands in. Yeah, I'm not putting hands in, I'm putting cotton ones in to take them out. Remember, always put your lid straight back on. I'm just going to spread the Vaseline because this is what's going to go down under Jackie's eye. Why do you think I'm putting the Vaseline on? Barrier. Yeah. Barrier for what? Yeah. So Jackie doesn't have big blue under her eyes. She won't be happy, will she? That's it. Anyway, I don't know. Oh, that's going to be on there, isn't it? It's what? No, I wasn't looking at you there. I don't know if there's sound on this, so it's probably just you're going to see it. There's no sound. All right. So I'm now going to put Vaseline on Jackie, so put this out. <laughs> really? <laughs> so always make sure you put your hand on head just so they're coming, because obviously we're dealing with the eyes. You don't want to scare them. And then as your client, if they can open their eyes and just look over your shoulder, so if you can look over my shoulder, Jackie, and then you're just going to put some Vaseline on underneath. Is, is the camera getting it in? Does it look as if it's getting it? All right, and this is just protection, so just cover like the whole area. All right, I'm now going to get a new cotton bud because I've used both sides of that. Some more Vaseline, and then do the other side. And remember, you don't use the same cotton bud for both eyes because of what? Yeah, conjunctive eyes could be one of them, which is. You're just doing under eye. Yeah, see, I'm just doing sweeping rounds and then under, not touching the lashes. What would happen if I touched the lashes? Yeah, act as a barrier, wouldn't it? And the tin won't go on. So are you sort of going underneath the lashes? Then? Yeah, and just leaving a slight. So then get your cotton pads, still looking over my shoulder. And just set the cotton pad on. You can see I've got the lashes just sitting over the top. Yeah, Vaseline to Vaseline, yeah. So I wouldn't put it on the top, why? Yeah. Shut your eyes for me. So I'm now going to put them on the top. But I'm going to, I'm doing the eyebrows as well, aren't I? So I'm going to bring it up and go around the eyebrow area as well. All right, so as I can do the tint when the lashes is taken. So again, hand on forehead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you go right round. 
and then some of the wee hairs that you know you don't want to tint put the Vaseline on because you'll be tidying them up with your tweezers anyway so the tint won't take to the area is everybody alright with that? Again, just watching you don't touch the lashes with the Vaseline. So I'm going to mix up the tint for the lashes. So you have all got blue black already mixed up together in your kit, but um, we haven't got a blue back, so I'm going to mix like a centimetre blue and a centimetre black together, and that'll make the same blue black that you've got already made up. And if somebody wants really dark lashes, it's the blue back you would use because that is the darkest. All right. You can do it just black if somebody wants just black but if they say they like their eyelashes to be really dark and they put lots of mascara on do them blue black it's darker than black okay. yeah trust me okay. yeah yeah because you think eh? but it is, it's darker than black so do blue black on them What, mix them two together? Yeah, but you'll need to patch test your people before you can do it like you were. And then that's three drops I've put in a peroxide, yeah. And then you've got a brush, if you want to use a brush. But I was taught with an orange stick so I'm going to use an orange stick so you can see how you can do it with an orange stick and that's the way I apply my tints so you just mix if you're mixing up two colours you mix it together like um, if somebody wants it like black brown you could make a bit, mix a bit of black and brown together they don't quite want black and they don't want brown a centimetre of each and three drops two centimetres yeah and that's enough to do everything. The lashes. I'm not putting blue black on the brows. Right. <laughs> Jackie would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and literally what I'm going to do when you put them on, you're listening? When you put them on the brows, it's a minute you usually stay stay on for. But speak to your client because some clients just like it emphasise and you just like it on and off. And that's what I'm doing in Jackie today. I'm just going to mix up a brown for her brows and it's just going to be on and off. But you always have three drops of... Yeah. Well, look at your peroxide. It tells you on it. Always read your manufacturer's instructions when it comes to things like that. Okay. So again, hand on. You just come to the lashes. Put it on not quite at the top. Then spread it up to the top. You've got Vaseline on there, but you've got a tidying up process you can do at the end, which I'll show you. And be careful, 
very careful with your tin it's not too runny. If you mix it up and it's too runny and you lift it over the client, it can drop in her face and it will stain her face. Alison, in mm -hmm. We don't do under the eyes anymore. Right. Health and safety reasons. We were taught that way, weren't we, Jackie? Mm. Do they do it in any other like salons out of here? Not that I know of. Most salons do it like this now. Right. Unless it's somebody that's been in the business for quite a number of years. So what was that to be going to the bottom lashes? In in the MDQ two book, the way it showed you was doing the bottom lashes and then the top lashes. But what else we said is that they don't do it like that anymore. No. So there will be no tint that goes on the bottom lashes. It will get it. It can catch it. That's if you may put enough product on and put it right up to the roots, it should seep through. So you're going to get up quite thick then? Yeah. I know how Jackie likes hers. But most clients like to be able to see it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you need to make sure you get right up to the top roots, because if you don't it will show up, especially if somebody's got fair lashes and they're going dark. Half the lashes will be tinted and half won't, and it'll be pretty obvious. How long does For about four to six weeks, okay. depending on the client. Yeah. Oh, do you use a different brush for each eye? No. Because oh. I'm just touching the lashes and I've got them covered up. I'm just making sure that I'm getting all the lashes in. Do you see how close I'm going up? Right up to the top of the roots. Even though you've done a test, mm -hmm. is it best to sort of like, like when you do a facial, you're sort of saying, is everything okay, you know? What, when the tent's on? Yeah, or? When do, yeah, when you're doing this, it's yeah. just to say to your client then. So if you, you know. Yeah, once I've put the pad on and I'm leaving it to take, that's when I keep saying to my client, you okay, how's your eyes feeling? They're not stinging. Will they come in for uh, a patch test right before? You need to tell them, because insurance-wise you won't be covered. So you'll just say, oh, can you come in to... Mm -hmm. in you need to come in with... Yeah. The longer the better. So that three days fine, two days fine. We usually say 24 to 48 hours before the treatment. You will get some clients who will turn around and say, it's all right, I have a, I've had a tent up the road and I was fine. Just say to them, no, you're not. I'm sorry, my insurance doesn't cover me. So I would rather you come in. Could you use your lamp to look to see whether you've covered everything? I don't know. You could if you wanted. Yeah. I don't. I'm just thinking that. So. Yeah. If you think that's going to help you. Right. So now, if you think you've gone over and gone over the lids, just pull it up slightly, cotton bud with a bit of Vaseline, and just go over the top, and I'll take any residue off. And same with this one. Just again. Yeah. And then get pads, it can either be damp or dry pads. Now when you're doing, if you're going to be doing, in fact I'm not putting them on because they're on cardboard. I'll put that ones on. Obviously I'm going to be doing her eyebrows, aren't I? So I need to watch where I'm placing my pads because I need to make sure that I can get into the eyebrows. So make sure you just place them. 
so they're wet pads. I've put wet pads on because the dry ones we've got are like cardboard just now, they just won't feel nice on. So you can put wet or dry. I usually use dry at you home. always do that. Always put pads on. I put pads on, yeah. yeah. Alright. And just say to my client, that's your tint on. I'll be there on for about another six to eight minutes or so. I'm just going to start on your eyebrows now. No. 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 Can you just go over the plants again for the eyelashes? <laughs> Between six and eight minutes. After a certain time, it won't be taken. And what about the eyebrows? It all depends on your client, but the longest is usually a minute. With Jackie, I'm putting it on and taking it off, putting it on and taking it off, because I know that's what Jackie likes, yeah? Uh-huh. I'm going to use a brush this time. You've got a different brush. I think it's a wooden, thin wooden handled brush you've got. So that's just doing it again. Yeah, just mixing up the exact same. Two centimetres, three drops with this peroxide. But you always check your peroxide instructions. So again, hand on the forehead, and just get your brush and just paint on where you're wanting it to go. But you can ask each individual client what colour they actually want. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm doing brown so it's the lightest. And I'll also go with Jackie's hair colouring as well. Well, yeah, depends on the client and what they're wanting. I'm not doing it thick on Jackie because she doesn't want it. And this does stain the skin. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. So if you have somebody that um, hasn't got a full eyebrow or a bit missing, yeah. you could actually. Mm -hmm. So Jackie just likes it on and off. You can leave it for a minute, but just check your client what they want. So I'm now just going to take off with a damp pad. How's the long, what's the longest time you can leave it on the floor? A minute. Mm -hmm. It's going on. And you can put the, um, the hairs back, you know, underneath you can go like that to get it if somebody's wanting it full. So you can brush them one way and then brush them another way. I'm just going the one way with Jackie. Jackie only likes it one way. Mm. <laughs> 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 hey Jackie. <laughs> I'm not saying anything about this recording. <laughs> And because this has to be in like the hour facial, would you then kind yeah. of speed up like well, another process? Because you're adding in a so treatment, you get your time that's allowed for so it. So it would be in like mm. an hour and mm -hmm. a half. Yeah, I don't expect you to do an hour with an hour facial, adding in a tint and everything, a 20 minute massage, no. So it would just be a nightmare. <laughs> Don't in that dark, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, the tail of the black. <laughs> How's your eyes, Jackie? Are they alright? Any stinging or anything? 
Sometimes near the end, your client might turn around and say, I can feel it stinging a wee bit. And if you just look at the clock and say, well, I've only got a couple of minutes left, can you bear with it or do you want me to remove it? And obviously, I'm going to talk to your client and listen to what your client's wanting. But I know Jackie likes her quite dark, so I'm going to leave for as long as I can. The maximum longest time, some people is 10 minutes, but between 6 and 8, yeah, some people do 10, but I do 6 to 8, because by the time you've applied it on yeah. both, put your pads on, that's a couple of minutes, yeah. so then you're 6 to 8, and time it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if your clients become regular, you'll get to know how quick their lashes tint. Yeah. And do you know anything about somebody with red hair? It's going to take even longer. Yeah, it's yeah. All right, so just be aware of that. Some day. You've got like red dye then, the eyebrows. No, you would do brown, wouldn't you? How would you? Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. What we're saying is, if somebody comes in and they've got red hair, colouring, no auburn, oh, um, right. whatever, their pigment takes longer to take, so you would leave it on a bit longer. So I've got about a minute left. You all right there, Jackie? Mm -hmm. Is everybody all right with that? Is there any other questions? So when yeah. do we bring this in? Yeah, what is it, Tracy? You're going to kill me, but I've got four slashes on. Oh, dear. Like, they were put on two weeks ago. I didn't know we were going to do this so quickly. But they have got to grow off of the brain. It should be all right. I'm not bothered if yeah. I'm or anything. It should be still be all right to do them, because yeah. they're the individual lashes that grow out, yeah. The, the, the high-quality ones that she's mm. doing now, because... Uh, oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Are you a guinea pig? Yeah. Yeah. But you're happy for somebody to tint? Yeah. 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 They'll probably emphasise them even more for you and they'll stand yeah. out better. Yeah. So that's fine. But that's why I was wondering, because when I spoke to Jack on Monday, I was getting worried well, to do the bottom, she couldn't bother well, just yeah. like that. Yeah. So hopefully they'll patch the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed. If they do it right, it should do. <laughs> <laughs> All the pressure's on you then, Agnieszka. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've got about 10 seconds. I'm going to start taking it off, Jackie. Now, when you take it off, this is a messy thing, and I guarantee you'll all be going out with tint all over your hands today. All right. No. Well, hopefully not. Just remember, if you do get tint in your hand, don't put your hand up to your face, because you will get tint in your face. All right, so if you have got it, make sure you just keep wiping your hands or whatever. All right, so go start taking it off. So we go from the inside out. So I've already got these pads on. So just say to you, I'm just going to start taking your pads up. Please do not open your eyes until I tell you to. All right? Yep. So inside out and get a good grip of them. So you're taking most of the tint with you. And then off in the bin. And then get your other pads for each eye. Just place them on. They Give again? them a rub. Uh -huh. Damp pads again. Give them a rub backwards and forwards. Hold them over, don't turn them over, and then you can concentrate on one eye. So where are our lashes supposed to come out in the left eye? Yeah. <laughs> Just check it one night. Can we borrow your eyelashes, Tracy? <laughs> 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 Can you just open your eyes and give them a blink for me? How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Fine. Fine. I'm just going to do the underneath. If you just look over my shoulder. So I can just see this tint, just residue. Can you see the bottom lashes I've taken? Yeah. Because I had enough product on and when you put the cotton wool underneath, hmm. you put it under the lash. Yeah? Is that alright? So in fact it is doing both. Yeah. I just give Sexy you a couple eyes. of pads, you give them a rub. This is what I do with my clients at home, but in an assessment situation, you should be getting it all off. But I allow, because my, my clients or your clients can rub their eyes heavier than I can, yeah. so they just get the extra tint off. But I'm not allowed to see you doing that. All right, so you need to make sure you've got it so off. Pull the curtain around quick before you get into it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so always make sure you tell them not to open their eyes until you tell them to. Because if they open their eyes, as soon as you take them pads off, there's still tint there. And that tint will go in their eyes and they'll have a sore eye. All right, it'll be stinging. Okay. And if you just... Can you see them? 
Just lie back for me, Jackie. Ta da! <laughs> Lovely. I'm going to take them pads for you. Do your eyes feel alright? Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm now going to go on and do the eyebrows. So everybody's happy with the eyelash tint. Yeah. Alright. If they do get up and they say it's really, really stinging, get a cold cotton pad as soon as you can on their eyes and just tell them to rub it, blink, rub it, blink, get the water going in their eye to flush out because a bit of tint's going in the eye, but you need to be really careful. You Probably some of you will get it in your eyes today because it's the first time and it is uncomfortable. Alright, so just be aware with it. And obviously if somebody is wearing um, contact lenses, they'll need to take them out for a tint. All right. My worst thing is if I laugh, my eyes water, and then that tends to take it in. Yeah. That's why I sit there lay there sort of really quiet. <laughs> so this is like um, lukewarm water. So I'm just going in along the eyebrows, and this just helps open up the pores. Always when you take your tweezers or any tools out from the barber side, it's never straight to skin because you can burn the skin, so you always wipe them off, either on your couch roll or a tissue. Yeah. And then just pull. So you're stretching the skin and then you just get in and you pull out the direction of the hair growth. And tweeze the hairs out. And just put them on your tissue. You don't want to just drop them down because they'll fall all over your client and when she goes out she'll come out with um, her eyebrows all over her top or whatever. And Jackie's got a lot of fair ones. I can see, I don't know if you can see the ones that are close. I'll try and get in. <coughs> you don't need much I tell you to do the Jackie, just a few mm. fair ones. And then so start from here, then work your way along to that end. All right, so you're start in unison. Right, right, right. Yeah, or if you're left-handed, start that way and work that way. And always make sure you do the centre because they do have some fair ones there that might need taken out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Move your tissue around, open up the eye area again. What can you feel it? Yeah, like I know I can't really know. I'm alright like with these bits, it's just like towards like the end. Yeah. Your eyes water? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You need to be very careful, you're not going to get your client's skin as well. Yeah. So make sure you stretch it correctly. Got some combo for that blood. <laughs> you're wicked, you are, aren't you? You're not taking the people at all, you? Nope. Why not? They grow back wrong, yeah, and they grow different ways. So we always take from below. Even if a client comes and says, oh, I've done it for years, but we're now going to regrow your eyebrows and try and get them back into shape. What about the Austria one? What are you talking about down this side? The Some people get... Like, so, yeah, they, yeah, if they've got the odd yeah. ones here, it's just a tidy up, but I would never, ever shape. If they just do odd, some people like them out. But you need to talk to your client, see what they're looking for, yeah? Don't just presume because that's the way you like your eyebrows, that's the way the client's going to like them. You need to talk about what they're wanting. Some people might be tidy, it might be a reshape. If it's a reshape, I would try and get them to get a wax first and then tidy up with the tweezers at the end to get that final shape because you could be there for a while. But you do get some people who are allergic to wax and they can't have it, so you would be doing... And they do that spreading now, don't they? Yeah. Mm, sore. My eyebrows were out there for two days. Mm. My eyebrow hairs are really stubborn, so it broke the like thing low. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. It broke the string low. And this woman was like laughing at me, and I was like, I know they're really, really like. Tough. So you haven't got to start at a certain point, then, Amazon. Because this is a reshape. Yeah. 
stack. Yeah, I would use the stack here and then work my way yeah. around. But there's yeah. Jackie's got more here on this outside yeah, so bit than. Yeah. And if you need the mag lamp on for that, by all means, put your mag lamp on. I'm just going to give them a wipe over because I can still see some Vaseline in the middle. So that would be the eyebrow shape finish. And what you would do is have your mirror to hand oh, and say to your client, yeah, are you happy with that? All right, is everybody happy with that? Yeah? Any questions? I'll turn this button off. Isn't it?